Okay, it is now 6.05. I'll go ahead and begin the presentation. This is the Glencrest Civic League Street Rehabilitation Project for the 22 or the 2022 bond year two contract nine. The city project number 104242. Uh, presenting today is the project manager, myself, uh, Jose Orozco. Uh, the purpose of this presentation is to give you the scope of, of the proposed improvements and seek any input from the community. First, I'll go over the project overview. The project is broken up into bond funded streets and water, dep water department funded streets. The bond funded streets will include new pavement, either concrete or asphalt. We won't know until we bid the project to see which one comes out uh, more uh, competitive. And the water department funded streets are streets that were added to this to this project with water department funds. I'll have a close up of the pictures here, but the bond funded streets are Burton, Davis. There's two portions within Davis. Uh, one is bond funded, one is not. One is water funded. Uh, Glencrest. Kellis has two portions. One is bond funded. One is water funded. Paris is bond funded. Seminary has two parts. Uh, one segment is bond funded. The other is water funded. Here on the next slide, you can see the uh, a closer up view. Burton off to the right, close to MLK. Davis just off of 35. The portion closest to 35 is bond funded. The closest, the segment closest to the railroad is water funded. And then down at the bottom, we have Glencrest. Glencrest is bond funded and Gypsy Gulch is water funded. In this cluster of streets, we have Kellis, which starts at this center point and runs to almost here. This segment, number six, is bond funded. Segment seven is the, the continuation beyond uh, up to uh, Fairfax, which is water funded. Segment eight is Nolan, which is water funded. Segment nine is Paris, is bond funded. Segment 10 is East Seminary from Paris to the dead end. This is bond funded. And segment 11, which is East Seminary from Wichita to Paris, this is water funded. Some of the summary of improvements that we'll be doing on this project. As you can see, in the pictures on East Seminary, we have missing curb, cracked pavement. In Paris, you can see all raveling of the asphalt. It's all cracked up. In Kellis, there's heaving of the curb and gutter. Uh, it's broken. Uh, in the same situation within Burton. Some of the other streets in Glencrest, we have cracked asphalt. We have patches that were done by the water department to fix their assets. In Burton, we have more cracking of the asphalt, missing curb and gutter. Here's another view of Burton. You can see the curb and gutter is missing on one side. And also in Glencrest, you can see several uh, previous patches and cracking throughout the street. A little breakdown in Burton. We plan to upgrade the existing six inch water to an eight inch. And we plan on 
installing new pavement with concrete curbs. We also plan on installing concrete driveways at a minimum of 11 feet width or we'll match the existing if it's a little wider and we'll include new five foot sidewalks. In Davis, the segment closest to 35, which is the bond funded segment, will be upgrading, well, in the whole street, we'll be upgrading the water main from six inch to eight inch. In the bond funded segment, we'll be installing new pavement with concrete curbs and new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width and new sidewalk. In the water funded segment, we'll, we'll be replacing it with asphalt. If someone has their mic on, can we please uh, mute until the end for our questions? It'd be appreciated. In Glencrest, in Glencrest and Gypsy Gulch, the in Glencrest is the bond funded street. And Gypsy Gulch is the water funded street. The water mains will be upgraded from the existing six inch to proposed eight inch and the sewer will be upgraded from a six inch to an eight inch. The paving improvements will, uh, will include new pavement and curving gutters in the bond funded segment, along with new concrete driveways with a minimum 11 foot driveway and will, or will match the existing width if it's wider. This is within the bond funded segments, as well as new five foot concrete sidewalk in the water funded segment will only be replacing the pavement. There we go. In East Seminary, Kellis, Paris, and Nolan, the water department will be upgrading the existing six inch water to an eight inch We'll be replacing the existing eight inch water to a new eight inch water and we'll be upgrading the existing 10 inch water to a 12 inch. This location is the 10 inch to a 12 inch is located within Nolan. The paving improvements will include new concrete our new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot and new sidewalk. This is within the bond funded segments. The water, the water funded segments again, are the segment between Fairfax and Nolan. Nolan between Kellis and the East Seminary, and East Seminary from Wichita to Paris. These are the water funded segments. All the other streets are bond funded. If concrete is the winning bid in the competitive bid, this is what the improvements will look like. You'll have new concrete pavement, new concrete curbs and gutters, and driveways and sidewalks. If asphalt paving is the winning bid, this is an example of what it would look like with new concrete curb and gutter on the sides, new asphalt pavement, and new, new concrete driveways and sidewalks. The proposed improvements also include the new new concrete sidewalks and new ADA compliant ramps. The water department funded segments will be new asphalt. The timeline that we're looking for this project, we in June we received the 60% design. We anticipate to receive the 90% design within the next week. And the project we plan to advertise in November. It and we'll let it go for a month. And in December, we'll open the bids 
to see who the winning contractor is. Then we'll go to the approval process and have the council award it. This will happen in March of 2024. And once it's awarded, we'll award the construction contract to the winning uh, contractor. This will happen in April and with construction beginning in June of 2024. We anticipate construction to last one year with construction completing in June 2025. For more information on the project, you can go to the city's website at fortworthtexas.gov slash projects. Or from the city's webpage, you can enter in the search bar the project number 104242 or Glencrest Civic League. At this point, I'll open it for any questions anyone may have. Hey, Jose, thank you so much. I'm going to look in the chat for you to see if we're seeing anyone's questions there. If anyone does not want to ask your question, we can have you put it in the chat and I will ask it for you. Thank you very much. Oh, muting. So that one is related to muting. I will take care of that, Christy. Um, does anyone have questions for Jose? Sorry, you guys, everyone should be unmuted and able to speak. Don't everyone uh, ask the question at the same time. I can, while we wait, I'll jump back to the project location maps I had at the beginning. Here we go. I believe this was the better of the two. I think Thank it's you, all Ronnie. question come in. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um, um, the um, driveways will be 11 feet, correct? Yes, the minimum standard uh, that the city has for driveways is a, a minimum 11 feet. If you have a, a currently an eight foot or nine foot, we'll be increasing it to the new minimum of 11 feet. If you have more than 11 feet, like say 13 or 18 feet, because you have a double wide driveway, we will give you up to that uh, width. Anyone else have any other questions? Or I always find it interesting. If you go to the project schedule to help Definitely. explain, I know I get a lot of questions about where this project is. What does that mean for me? I know you said that, but maybe walking folks back through how TPW or transportation public works, what that 60%, 90% is. What the the schedule that we have, what we have, we have milestones for the designers at different stages within the design process. At the 30%, we are just barely receiving a survey and they're putting stuff on paper for us to review uh, and go over. At the 60%, we're starting to get a little bit more uh, in-depth detail uh, ironing out a lot of uh, where utilities are located uh, beneath the ground. Uh, 
how they impact what we want to do with the roadway, et cetera. And 90% is basically the pre-final. And we make any minor tweaks or adjustments that need to be done prior to the final submittal. And when we receive that final submittal, that's when we open uh, the, the design for bidding. And that's when we get the estimates back from the contract, various different co contractors. And we choose the lowest bidder based off of the their estimate of what they think it'll um, it costs to build it. Once we receive those bids, we'll ask for council approval uh, based on the on the bids. After we verify that all the bids are correct, et cetera, et cetera, and the contractor gets all his his or her paperwork in order for the construction, um, then we will get and it council does approve it. Then we'll go to awarding the contract. Uh, and ask and get coordinating with the contractor when they can begin. We anticipate that to happen in approximately April um, to get all that coordination done. And then uh, we anticipate, like we said, actual construction machinery on the ground in June. Uh, and then the following June of the following year, we'll be completing the, we should be complete or the construction should be complete by then. Thank you. That was helpful. Uh, I saw another question come through. Let's see if I can open the chat. Yes, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I was having technical difficulty here. Um, how will this affect the usual garbage days? We'll work with the contractor to basically they would they when they do the construction they don't do the entire street segment at once they'll do uh, one side and then uh, once the one side is complete they move on to the other side and the. If asphalt or you're in with the, one of the asphalt sections of the paving, uh, the contractor will move your barrels over for uh, the refuse company to pick up your your garbage, um, and they'll move your your bins back for you after they've collected the the refuse. That was a garbage. great question. That was a great question. Um, I'm sure people will want to know how they'll be notified. And so we could talk about how we let folks know when and what to expect. Before any construction actually hits the ground, we'll be sending out uh, notices on your door prior to construction activity. Uh, and when they are specifically going to be in front of your property, uh, We'll send out another notification on your door saying, this is what we'll be doing this day. We need to shut your water off for approximately a half hour uh, or more. And that will be done typically the day before. Is there another question? Jose, I am not seeing any more in the chat. Okay, I thought I saw another question pop in. Okay. Well, with that, let me jump over to some additional information to share. Uh, City of Fort Worth has a My Fort Worth app. It's downloadable on, on Apple or Android. Uh, you can get it in the Apple Store or Google Play. Uh, depending on your platform, if it, you have an iPhone or Android product, the this is where you would report emergency and non-emergency 
uh, issues uh, related to construction. This would include like water main breaks, where there be uh, where there there's someone on call 24 hours a day. Also, the during the normal business days, a Monday through Friday, it's the same number, but it the normal business days are from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, the city is closed on holidays. All right, yours must be working a lot faster than mine because you are correct. There was another question that came in. Oh. And it was regarding how long the water would be off. Would it be just one day or maybe give some timeline for folks? Gotcha. When the water gets turned off, uh, it's temporarily. It's not the entire day. It's just maybe a half hour to two hours. Before wa any water gets shut off, though, what ends up happening, they'll put in a temporary water main and they'll chlorinate it and test it to make sure it's of ready to uh, to carry potable water and safe to drink. Once that has been approved, then they go through and individually switch every water meter over to the temporary water main. That connection takes roughly a half hour, not more than two hours. And then when the construction is in progress, They'll, there should not be any interruption into their water service as they're getting fed off the temporary main while the main line's being replaced. Once the main line has been fully installed and services have been connected and ready for, or in services installed and ready for connection, then what happens is you'll have another water interruption to transfer you onto the per to the new permanent water main. Again, uh, only a half hour, two hour disruption at most. Jose, I do have a quick question. I'm driving, so I can't type it in the chat. I hope that's okay. That's fine. Um, if there are any issues with anybody um, getting their water restored from that switch over, would you be the point of contact for them to reach out to? Um, to notify, would you want them to contact the My Fort Worth hotline if they needed to? Um, what would be the best way that we can get them connected? I would, yes, I am the main contact for this. For this, I'm the pro I'll be the project manager on this project, and I can't give you the inspector's name at this time because one hasn't been assigned yet. We're not that close into construction. Once once we are in construction, there'll be another individual that uh, deals with the day to day. Okay, uh, activities and once once we're in construction, I'll know who that individual is, but yes, I can and will be in communication with that inspector for who's out there boots on the ground at, uh, for all the day to day activities. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure we had a point of contact for the residents if they needed one. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I believe there was some more activity that came in the chat. More questions. But the last one I had was my response at 625, but maybe there's some lag. There we go. There we go. Just came in for me. <laughs> Do you want to read that or shall I read it? Uh, can you read it? Because it, it just flashed sure. out. Yep. If we are on the side of the street that does not have a sidewalk, will one be added? Maybe we go back to the maps we had earlier. Uh, yeah, definitely. What street? Um, whoops. Let me jump back in here. What street segment is this? This will I can give more specific. If uh, there water funded or bond funded it says paris paris yes paris will be getting sidewalks on at least one side i i believe both sides actually get sidewalk if memory serves me right yes they do 
they do. So Paris will be getting sidewalks on both sides. Any other questions? Oh, uh, Edward raised their hand. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. I just actually came in. I was having problems getting in, but this is in regard to Burton. Yes, sir. Uh, is it my understanding that we're getting actual full streets with curves, sidewalks, and approach, or just curves and and uh, um, a street? Curb and approach to the driveways. You will be getting uh, curb and gutter on both sides. You'll be getting a new driveway at a minimum 11 feet wide. If you have a double wide driveway that's 18 feet wide, you will match the uh, what you have existing. Um, you will have you will get lead uh, lead walk, but this is. Just, just so we clarify, it's up to the right of way. The right of way is typically at the back of the sidewalk. It is not all the way up to your house. Okay. Okay. Uh, when is this supposed to actually take place? Uh, we're anticipating to physically have construction begin in June 2024. June 2024. And then uh, how long will it take? And uh, what about the parking arrangements? Are y'all going to try to do one side of the street at a time, or is it something that we kind of got to work out on our own to get, you know, to get the uh, project completed? Uh, the contractor does work with the residents to let them know. So, some individuals they have no problem leaving their cars parked, uh, but once once construction begins and they're physically in front of your property. Uh, the concrete has to have time to set. And if you drive on the concrete before it sets, it actually breaks it prematurely. Even though you don't see it right away on the surface, it actually breaks it. So that's why they'll ask for you to park uh, down the street or just around the corner, depending where you live. Uh, okay. so, so this can be done. So we're doing concrete or asphalt? It depends on how the bids come in. We're doing a competitive bid for asphalt or concrete. If concrete wins the bid, then we'll be going in with concrete on the bond funded streets only. On the water department on the water department funded streets, we're gonna go back with uh asphalt, brand new asphalt. Okay. So are they gonna do and this is my last question. Um <clears throat> we've been having uh water issues or the uh I guess some of the pipe under the up under the street has been known to break. So they've been having to go in from time to time, dig up the street and work, get that fixed. Are they going to try to resolve that as yes, well? Sir. Yes, so sir. So that they don't have to tear up a, a new street? Okay, that's what I need to know. And I'm good. I think I think you covered my questions. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anyone else that had any questions? This is Laura. I was just about to share the link. I know you had it on your slides with everyone letting them know that we will have this recording posted and the slides up and I will share that link where I'll be posting those to everyone in the chat. Let me jump there real quick and there's the link. If you just go to the city uh, web page at fortworthtexas.gov in the search bar uh, in the upper right hand corner, if you just type in Glencrest Civic League or uh, 104242, uh, you'll find the project web page. And on the project web page, we'll have uh, current information and updates on the project. Uh, not everything gets built at the same time we work uh the contractor will work with different crews for different activities uh first thing that goes in is the utilities once they're done with the utilities they'll come back with a different crew that does the roadway and it may be your street that's first and maybe your street that's last or somewhere in the middle uh i i we won't know until we get with the contractor and we don't have a contractor on board yet Uh, 
Uh, any questions that uh, you can think of, uh, Greg, Mary, or Laura, that I, I may have uh, skipped over or may not have covered? No, I think I you've think done so. a great job. You hit everybody's questions without them even asking. Good job. Well, this this concludes uh, my presentation. If there's no more further questions, uh, if there's somebody on here that speaks Spanish, I do speak Spanish, but I'm looking at the names and I don't see anybody. I got a call in user. Uh, si hay alguien que necesita que lo explico en español. Yo sí hablo español, uh, más de, da tu información y o marca mi número de teléfono y te puedo explicar uh, específicamente dónde vives también. That's all I have. That's todo lo que tengo. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.